Hi, my name is Jude Burns, and I'm here to talk about Jinshin Jitsu. Jinshin what? Is it, what is this thing, Jinshin Jitsu? Is it martial arts, some sort of exercise thing? What is it? Um, spend a lot of time explaining what it is, so um, I'm happy to do it and get it into a recording. Jinshin Jitsu is an ancient method of harmonizing our body's natural energy patterns so that we can heal ourselves faster and more completely. Um, JSJ may be easier to remember than Jinshin Jitsu. So we have energy in our body. I think if you've ever shuffled your feet and touched a uh, light switch or rubbed a balloon on your head and it sticks on your head or had an MRI, we realize that we have energy in our body. Johns Hopkins actually describes in their EKG, they say that natural electrical impulses coordinate contractions of the different parts of the heart to keep blood flowing the way it should. So if we have these electrical impulses, then we can interact with them. Most of us understand that um, acupuncture has needles that interacts and um, redirects those electrical impulses. Well, in Jin Shin Jitsu, we use our fingertips instead. And we have what we call energy focal uh, sites within our bodies. We call them safety energy locks. They're actually three-dimensional spheres of energy. We have 26 on the left side and 26 on the right side. And through various hand positions with these safety energy locks, we call them flows, then we can unblock the energy that could be preventing us from healing or causing illness or discomfort or disharmony is the language that we use in this art. What I really like about Jin Shin Jitsu is it was an art that is hundreds, if not thousands of years old, and it was rediscovered by a Japanese man in the early 20th century. And he and his student, Mary Burmeister, who brought the art to the U.S., documented and validated um, information that he had discovered in ancient um, scripts. And so I feel confident that this is not something that's made up. It's not random. It doesn't require um, channeling of energy or um, the person who's applying it to actually be a certain way. We have energy in our fingertips. I have energy in mine, you have energy in yours. And that means that we can interact with energy on our bodies or each other's bodies. The other thing that I really love about Jin Shin Jitsu is we can do self-help. That means that I am empowered to help myself. I can help myself stave off a cold. I can help myself um, pull a splinter out of a finger. I can help myself lessen a burn. I can help myself alleviate a hangover. There are all sorts of things that I can do with self-help from very minor to more serious. I can help um, with the side effects of medications or chemotherapy, things like that. And that's just through self-help, me helping myself, me placing my hands on my body in certain positions, in a certain order that have been documented and described and um, articulated in, in textbooks and classes that I know uh, will actually help the body heal itself. So um, the self-help aspect is really, really powerful. And I love to help people um, help themselves through self-help classes, et cetera. This self-help work is also the basis of animal Jin Shin Jitsu. Jin Shin Jitsu for our animal companions is work that was documented by Adele Lease many years ago. There's a textbook called Jin Shin Jitsu for your animal companions. And on Adele's website, jsjforyouranimal.com, you can find out more about how to use Jin Shin Jitsu, Jin Shin Jitsu to help your animal friends. 
So um, check us out and uh, stay tuned for more information on helping yourself, helping your animals, and just being more in harmony with our body's natural energy flows.